Hi there, we are still working on 16-2. Uh, we're classifying quadrilaterals. Again, trapezoid has one pair of parallel lines. Parallelogram has two opposite sides parallel, meaning that this line is parallel to this line and then this line is parallel to this line. A rectangle has four right angles. A rhombus has four equal sides. And then a square has four right angles and four equal sides. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna classify these polygons. When I'm looking at this one, I notice that this line right here is parallel to this line right here. We would call these base one and base two if we were finding the area of trapezoids. Um, so this is clearly going to be a trapezoid. Um, this line, I see we have a line parallel and a line parallel, two sets of parallel lines. That makes this a parallelogram. Um, moving on to this one, clearly a rectangle. Um, this one, I see sides are parallel, sides are the same length. That makes this a rhombus. B-U-S, sorry. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. Uh, here we have a square we have four right angles, four sides the same length, all sides are parallel to each other. And then this little guy right here um, would just be a quadrilateral because I don't see any parallel lines. This line is not parallel to this line. This line is not parallel to this line. Uh, nobody's the same length. So this is just a plain old fashioned quadrilateral. Okay. We head over to the back where things get a little bit more difficult. Um, this says, Marvin says that all rhombuses are squares. Uh, Aretha says that all squares are rhombuses. Who is correct? So is it that all rhombuses are squares or all squares are rhombuses? Um, here, it's going to be the second one. Aretha is going to be the one that is correct. Um, Construct arguments, what characteristics can help you tell the difference between a rhombus and a rectangle? Um, we're looking for side length and we're looking for the angles in those parallel lines. Um, let's look at this last one. If we know that, um, it wants to know the length of side A. So it says from here to here is nine, from here to here is 13. Um, what would be the length of A? Well, we know that if this line is parallel to this line and this line is parallel to this line, if this is 13, then this is 13. And if this is nine, then this is nine. So the answer would be A. And that is a more in-depth look at classifying quadrilaterals.